what's good y'all it's your boy ross back here again with another video so we got an interesting one for you guys today this article was sent in to me by isaiah on instagram so shout out to you man appreciate you sending this my way and uh, i wanted to make a video out about it basically the rumors for who roman reigns will be facing at uh next year's wrestlemania wrestlemania 38 night two who will he be facing we know the rumors are you know been circling around for a while that he'll be facing the rock maybe brock lesnar but we're not sure so take this article from wwf oldschool.com take this with a grain of salt um i'm not sure how accurate this is but this is the intrigue of speculating and figuring out or trying to guess who will be roman reigns uh, opponent for wrestlemania in the main event for night two at wrestlemania 38 so let's get right into this article man just like wrestlemania 36 and 37 wrestlemania 38 will also be a two-night event which will take place on april 2nd and 3rd at the at&t stadium there were a lot of rumors about the rock versus roman reigns finally taking place next year but we can confirm that the rock won't have a match at wrestlemania 38 we are being told that the wwe officials are discussing roman reigns versus brock lesnar versus drew mcintyre for the universal championship in the main event of wrestlemania 38 night 2 that actually does not sound that bad i'll get into the reasons of why i feel like that's that's not a bad option uh wwe officials feel like uh this is the biggest match they can book at this point given the rock isn't available wwe wants to keep lesnar in the universal title picture and they want to add drew mcintyre to the mix since he has history with both men wwe is currently building mcintyre as an unstoppable force once again on smackdown the main event of night two of wrestlemania 37 was also a triple threat match for the Universal Championship where Reigns defeated Edge and Daniel Bryan to retain ver to retain the Universal title. We'll keep you updated regarding more WrestleMania 38. Uh WrestleMania 38 plans here on WWF Old School. And uh that's crazy. <laughs> they got some clip of <laughs> Don Marie makes out with Tori Wilson. <laughs> Bro, that's wild that they have that clip there. But yeah, um I'm not gonna lie to you. Roman versus drew versus brock i'm actually okay with i actually think that is a good option the only reason why i say that is because i know for a lot of us that saw drew mcintyre's um championship reign when he beat brock lesnar at uh at that wrestlemania where pretty much you know covid had happened so they had to pretty much do it in the performance center him winning that would have been so much even better if he would have won it in front of a, a live audience. I think the crowd would have majorly popped for that. And it was a decisive win. And the same can be said in this situation with all these three guys. Having them in the ring all together. The crowd atmosphere will probably be intense. Because this is a, a, a good marquee match, man. This is a, a WrestleMania worthy match. If they're going to continue to book Drew McIntyre in a strong fashion, have him, you know, really be someone as a, a viable option to potentially win. And then, of course, they're going to keep Brock Lesnar in the mix because that's just adding him to the match will be a marquee situation. And then Roman, you know, doing what Roman does. If it was just going to be Roman and Brock, I don't think people would be as excited because we've just seen it. You know what I'm saying? So no one would really be as excited unless it would come off as well obviously brock has to win now because they're not gonna have him lose to roman clean and it wouldn't make sense for roman to cheat again because then he'd be like damn he can't really beat uh brock lesnar without cheating so them adding drew drew has some history with roman drew has some history with brock like i think that's a good that's a better matchup if they can't get the rock Drew being added into the match makes it that more intriguing. And I actually would be really interested in seeing who will come out on victorious here because at the end of the day, Brock doesn't have to eat the pin. 
they could protect Brock if they want to, which I feel like they will do. They will, they could, they will protect Brock, and maybe Drew McIntyre would probably eat the pin there, or maybe they switch it. They maybe they flip the script and have Drew McIntyre win. It also depends on how the crowd reacts to Drew going for the Universal Championship. If the crowd's behind Drew, then it could work. If the crowd is not behind Drew and Roman Reigns, even though he's a heel is still the overwhelming favorite, then I don't know if that's going to really come off right uh, if Drew ends up winning. So, I don't know. To be honest with you, I do think even with that match happening, I do think Roman will stop, probably still retain. I can see Roman retaining two years in a row out of WrestleMania, both of them in a triple threat match. I can see if they're building that story. But... The, the only thing about them building the story they have been building is because we've been hoping that The Rock would come back. Because if you're beating everybody, the one person he would need to beat is The Rock himself to really solidify his title reign as legendary status. So, I don't know. Uh, if The Rock doesn't come back, which it may not happen, like I said, take this with a grain of salt. Grain of salt then maybe they switch the title. But once again, I, like I said, it doesn't need to go on Brock. I don't want to see it on Brock. If anything, I'd be okay with seeing the title on Drew, but it also depends on how over he is with, with the crowd. So it's, there's, you know, there's plenty of months from now to WrestleMania next year. So it just depends on how they book it, how they build up each wrestler to potentially take down Roman, like where they take the story. I know Paul Heyman is probably going to be well involved, obviously. Will Brock turn on, I mean, will Paul Heyman turn on Roman at WrestleMania that will cause him the title? Who knows? Is it? There's a, there's a lot of ways they can book this. So I think that's probably the best possible match they have right now if they if it's not the rock that would probably be the best possible match i can see on smackdown unless unless because we have seen stranger things if you guys remember kofi kingston kofi mania started really going crazy at the elimination chamber people were really wanting him to be to win the championship to go for the championship something could happen where somebody gets crazy over and they want them in that title shot opportunity, that title, that title match opportunity is a possibility. So we will see how things play out. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this is just rumors. So I wouldn't take this as, you know, definitive proof or, you know, something that's, you know, going to actually happen. This is all just speculation. So we will see. But comment down below. Let me know. Would you guys actually be okay with the main event of WrestleMania Night 2 being Roman versus Drew versus Brock, would y'all be okay with that? Or do y'all think maybe somebody else should be in that spot if we can't get The Rock to come back for WrestleMania? I would love y'all thoughts and opinions on that. So make sure y'all comment it down below so we can have that discussion. Because right now, they need to definitely start looking for a main event opponent. Because it doesn't look like Roman's going to be losing the title anytime before wrestlemania so they need to be thinking long term who can they have legitimately that would make sense would excite people to see roman fight at wrestlemania who would be they uh his uh his challenger so appreciate all love support road to 60k appreciate y'all kicking it with me and i wait 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 by the time this video drop we should be at 60k I'm willing to bet by the time this video drops, we should be at 60K. Hold on. I'm actually going to do this live. I think I think we may already be at 60K. I had to do this live. I didn't even know. I'm keeping this in the video. We are at, we're at 60K. 60,002 60, subscribers, bro. I literally did not know this before I filmed this video. So... Wow, that's crazy, man. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so, so, so much for getting me to 60,000 subs, bro. That is truly amazing. 
I, this was not planned. I did not know this was going to happen um, before I ended up recording this video. So um, I guess I have to switch the outro to Road to 70K, man. Uh, thank y'all so much, bro. I love you guys so much. And um, ultimately, you know, the, the big goal of this channel is to get it to 100K subscribers so I can get my own personal YouTube plaque of 100K subs. But as of right now, we reached 60K, Road to 70K. Thank y'all so much, and I appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.